So I was playing around with some data from the College Board website. Not everybody realizes that this data is available online when it comes to student scores on all of the exams. Here they have the scoring distribution data going back to 1997, meaning for each one of the AP exams, what's how many students got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Through a little bit of coding uh, in Excel and VBA, I was able to reorganize the data going back to 2007 uh, for score, percentage getting three, average, standard deviation, number passing, number sitting, etc. into a spreadsheet which you can download in the link below in the description of the video. If you open it up in modern Excel, definitely 2013, maybe 2010, you can use something called slicers with the data. For example, if I hit 2007 here, that's only going to show me results for 2007 for all the exams. If I hold control down while clicking, or rather shift while clicking, I can um, select multiple years. For example, if I only wanted to see 2008, 2009, 2010, or if I only wanted to see certain courses at the same time. So it's a really nice way to slice through the data, hence the name. Most people don't want to play around with the data, they just want to see it, so I've also made it into a PDF. So if you look, here are all the AP exams. Uh, they include data from 2007 to 2015. On the left, you'll see the actual mean out to three decimal places. And at first I have it sorted in order, and then I have it alphabetical, etc. What I'm going to go through is all the different ways that I have the data set up, and I'm going to scroll through here in case you just want to watch it in the video. First we have sorted by AP score from lowest to highest. So lowest is physics 1 at 2.318 and every uh, two seconds or so I'm going to scroll to the next set of uh, exams. Then we have all of the exams alphabetically. Physics, I'm actually a physics teacher. Then we look at pass rate, that's the percentage that got a 3, 4, or 5 on the exam. Pass rate sorted alphabetically by exam. Number of exams written or taken or sat for. On the left it's the sum from 2007 to 2015. Important to understand certain exams like Calculus BC have a subset the AB subset or some of the languages have total population and standard group. And then in alphabetical order. Then standard deviation in order from the most variable exam to the least variable exam. Then alphabetically. Then we have the distribution of 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5, and on the left you have the average and the standard deviation as well. I'm not going to move the video through all of these, but we also have in the PDF the exams followed by the years and the distributions. Notice also you can see there's uh, bar charts that sort of tell you the relative distribution uh, visually. Again, raw data will be linked in the video description, but here it is. You can look at it there. And here's the link where I will be posting uh, these files. The spreadsheet if you want to look at the raw data and play with it a little bit, or just a PDF if you want to see what's in the video. So I did this. I just thought it's kind of interesting. Other people will probably find it interesting too. But again, I'm not affiliated with the college board in any way. I'm just, I'm just a teacher. I uh, just thought you guys might find this interesting.